Hey everyone, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home, and in today's video, we are going to be covering the top 10 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray releases of 2021. So now that we're towards the middle end of December, I've pretty much got every release that I'm going to get for this year, and there are no more releases coming out that I haven't already got in my possession through the end of the year, so I thought this was a good time to make this video. And these are some of my favorite videos to make because I love to look back at the year, recap what was really good, and give you all some recommendations. I think this is a great video if you're new to 4K collecting or 4K Blu-ray or home theater and you're looking to start your collection. These are 10 of the best discs, in my opinion, that you could get to start your collection. And I also have this video available for 2020, and I believe I did one for 2019 as well. So you can go back and find those on the channel. I'll actually link them in the description. But this is 2021, so what that means is this is a list of discs that came out in 2021. This is not just 2021 movies, so it's not just all new releases. It's 4K discs that were released in this calendar year. So regardless of whether or not the movie itself came out in 2021 or 2020 or even, say, 1950, it doesn't matter. It's all about when the disc was released, and this is the year in physical media. So I'll be ranking these down from 10 to 1, and again, this is my list, my opinion. And these are discs that I have seen and I have in my collection and that I've watched. So certainly, if in the comments you think there's a disc I missed, maybe I don't have it. Maybe I never saw it. Maybe I need to check it out. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know what you thought, uh, think about my list. Let me know what your list is. Let me know what your number one is. But I think a lot of you will probably agree with my top. Top 10 maybe not in the exact order but these are 10 very very solid discs that came out this year so I will only be talking briefly about each title because actually all 10 of these have individual review videos available on my YouTube channel. So if you do want to get more in depth and learn more, see some screenshots, 4K to Blu-ray comparisons, talk about the audio, packaging, special features, all that good stuff, each of these has its own review video and I'll link each of them in the description so you can go watch the full videos. So I'm going to start with number 10 here and jump right into the list. And number 10 is a very recent release. It came out actually hasn't been released yet to the public as of me making this video but I've already reviewed it and it is no time to die on 4k now I just did this review and I will be fully transparent I totally screwed up I was watching this and I thought it was so clean that it was actually digitally shot and that's not the case it was actually shot on film IMAX 65 millimeter and 35 millimeter film this film stock these days is just so good that sometimes you can't tell the difference and so once I learned that and I corrected that mistake and went back and watched this again one more time just to enjoy it, um, wow, super impressive that something shot on film can look this good. I mean, this is an absolutely stunning 4K disc. I loved the way that it looked. It sounds great as well. It's not the craziest Atmos track, but if you've got 5.1 or 7.1, it is a booming booming audio track with some nice Atmos effects mixed in here and there. It's not the most gimmicky of Atmos, but it's very nice. And so No Time to Die had to make the list just simply because it is a great example of how modern movies, especially modern movies that are shot on film, 35 mil millimeter, 65 millimeter, how good those can look. I do still love the way that film looks, and you'll see that on my list. A lot of these movies are movies that were shot on film, but I did want to bring some more of a balance this year with some modern stuff and some older stuff. And really, that's why No Time for, uh, to Die makes this list over a few honorable mentions, which could have been here in spot number 10. But I think No Time to Die really deserves a spot because it is just a beautiful picture. The only thing that's lacking is those IMAX scenes, and I still... I hate that we don't get them, but it is still a very, very good experience in widescreen, and I highly recommend you grabbing this 4K disc. It would make for a great Christmas present because it's coming out to the public very soon on December 21st, so just about a week after I'm making this video. Now, coming in at number nine, this is a movie from Disney, a 4K release from Disney, which you're probably thinking, wow, um, how that make the list, but I'll explain that. And the movie is Speed. 
Speed has an excellent 4K transfer. And while this was released by Disney after their acquisition of Fox, the transfer itself was done by the 20th Century Fox team and Fox Home Entertainment before they were acquired by Disney. It had been floating around there for a few years. I had heard and seen tweets and rumors about how good it looked. And we finally got it on disc in 2021. And the rumors and all the reviews were true. It's a really, really great looking disc. It's an awesome movie. It's a ton of fun. And it's a significant upgrade, especially with the way that they've graded this, color grading and HDR. Significant upgrade over what was previously available on Blu-ray. And that's what made it onto this list. It's just, you can tell the amount of work that went into this. Another movie shot on film, fully restored in 4K. And just a beautiful job. And it really had me wanting more from the Fox catalog after I saw how good this looked. The only downside to this disc is it doesn't pack any Dolby Atmos or advanced audio. It has a DTS HD 5.1 master audio, but still a very powerful track. And honestly, Disney probably would have screwed up the Atmos anyway, so I'm happy they sort of kept the 5.1 that the Fox team worked on, and they put out this very, very good release. So if you're looking to upgrade your DVD or Blu-ray copy of Speed, this is a great disc, and it was easy to put on my top 10 list for the year. Now, coming in at number eight, I have uh, maybe an interesting choice for some of you, but this made the list because of its significance, first of all, as a release and as a movie, and because of its great 4K visuals and audio. And that is Zack Snyder's Justice League from Warner Brothers. This is a stunning picture. Now, a lot of people don't like the aspect ratio that it's shot in, which is that sort of IMAX aspect ratio, 133 to one. It has black bars on the left and the right, and it kind of gives you this much taller picture, but a lot less wide. And, uh, you know, it turned a lot of people off, but I really liked the way it looked. I thought it was an interesting style choice. And I loved that sort of IMAX at home experience. Now the 4Ks here are awesome, really, really solid. Even with all the, the work that went into this release and all the reshoots and them having to you know, go back and, and, and get clips from years ago, they put together a great release. And it's really significant because I, I don't know of many other times in movie history that like a fandom, like the DC fandom, really pushed a studio to, to get a movie like this out and not only just release a director's cut, but really promote this as its own movie, its own film. Um, it's really interesting to see what the internet can do these days, but this has Dolby Atmos, this has beautiful 4K, and I know it's not gonna be perfect for everybody because of that IMAX ratio, but I really, really enjoyed it, and I think it's a must-have disc, and of course, it's a huge, huge improvement over Joss Whedon's Justice League, which I think was garbage. So the movie's much better, the disc is excellent, it's an AV stunner, and as long as you're willing to deal with the, the aspect ratio, uh, which I was and I was very open to, I think you'll really enjoy this one and you should add it to your collection. Now coming in at number seven is a great example of how older movies can sometimes look so much better on 4K than newer movies. And we're gonna take a look here at Willy Wonka. This comes in at number seven. This is the 50th anniversary release of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory with a brand new 4K scan, which was awesome. I loved the way this looked. The HDR really helped with how colorful this movie is. The new color grading was excellent. And they even adjusted the aspect ratio to match the original theatrical aspect ratio, which is always good. So we got back to an original aspect ratio, the way it was intended to be seen. We got great HDR color grading, an awesome 4K scan. And while the audio wasn't anything special, there's no Atmos or advanced audio, the 5.1 track is still very good. And I just love the music in this movie, so you can't go wrong with Willy Wonka. If you're looking to upgrade your Blu-ray or DVD, this is a great choice and I think it really was like watching Willy Wonka for the first time. I mean, it was like watching a pristine film print of this movie, which I don't believe exists, or at least I've never heard of it being shown anywhere. So this is now the definitive version of Willy Wonka. It's the original aspect ratio. Everything's been corrected and recolor graded to match, I think, what was the director's original intentions, and it just looked awesome. So huge props to Warner Brothers again, back-to-back -back discs for Warner Brothers here, but they did have a good 2021, and Willy Wonka was a stunning disc that you need to have in your collection.
Now coming in at number six, uh, surprisingly enough, is actually another Warner Brothers title. And when I was making this list, I wasn't paying attention to the, the studios who made what. I wasn't making sure it was well balanced. And so, you know, Warner Brothers had some pretty good discs, although they also had some iffy discs. So that's the thing with Warner Brothers is their highs are really high, their lows are kind of low, and they certainly had some mistakes throughout the year. But they do have some great discs, especially the more modern movies. And Godzilla vs. Kong is one that you have to have in your 4k collection this is a true 4k digitally shot movie the cgi still looks incredible even with 4k i don't know if it was rendered at 4k or not but it looks awesome and this has probably the best dolby atmos track of any of the discs on this list of course that's probably expected when you've got two massive monsters fighting each other or even more than that i should say throughout the movie so much action so much going on and the atmos track is is stunning I mean, this is the most bass heavy, booming, absolute like neighbors calling the police type audio track that you could get this year. So that automatically catapulted it into the top 10, but it also delivers awesome visuals. And while it's not going to be, you know, your Citizen Kane or something special, if you're just looking for a fun popcorn movie, blockbuster type entertainment, and you want to show off your home theater, Godzilla vs. Kong is an excellent, excellent option. And I will say this disc is much better than the HBO Max stream. So if you've only seen it on streaming services, Take the $20, upgrade this disc, and you won't be disappointed. It's going to blow you away, and it's well worth having in your 4K collection. So next up at number five is also another fairly recent release that came out towards the end of this year, but immediately upon reviewing it, it became one of my favorite 4K discs of all time, and I knew it was going to make this list. I believe I said it back in the review, and it comes in here at number five, which is a very respectable spot, and that is The Addams Family from Paramount. Now this is, first of all, the newest edition, which has all of the uncut scenes. Now it only adds about two minutes to this one dance section within the middle of the movie, but it does add that back in and gives fans the full experience. Now this also is a new 4K scan, which was supervised by the director. And while the color grading is not drastically different because I think they did a good job on the Blu-ray, the Dolby Vision does add a ton of depth to the image. It really adds so much and it's not drastically different color wise, but wow, if you have a good enough panel, if you have a great TV and home theater system, you're gonna be blown away by how deep this image looks and how textured it is. And then the 4K scan, of course, takes a huge leap forward over what was already a very good Blu-ray. This is one of the better, obviously it's in the top five, but one of the better 35 millimeter two 4K Blu-ray transfers that I've ever seen. You can tell the director spent a lot of time on this. You can tell Paramount spent a lot of time making sure this was done right, and they really did nail it. So, you know, not only do you get that fully restored sort of uncut version of the movie, but you get great 4K visuals. On the audio, you're not getting anything extra, but the visuals are so good that that outweighs the fact that there's no Atmos or anything. It's a very solid 5.1 track that you will enjoy, and if you have a basic home theater setup, you're going to get a ton of action even in a 5.1 but the visuals are the real reason to upgrade this is simply one of the best looking transfers that i've seen and you can just tell the amount of care went into it so that had to make the top five and it's well worth adding to your 4k collection now coming in at number four um, earlier in the year i actually thought this could have been a contender for the first or second spot a couple of other releases have come out and i've sort of changed my mind on where i ranked things but this is easily one of the best discs of the year, hence why it's at number four. And it is the final countdown from Blue Underground. So this is a little bit of a lesser known movie, sort of a um, cult type movie, but it does have Kirk Douglas, Martin Sheen, James Ferentino, and Blue Underground, first of all, excellent job with the packaging. You got lenticular slip covers, it's loaded with extras, but they also did a new 4K scan from the original camera negative, added Dolby Vision HDR, added Dolby Atmos audio, and this disc in this movie just looks incredible. Always nice to come from a negative, a pure negative, but the source must have been in great shape, and Blue Underground continues to be sort of under the radar as possibly the best 4K 
boutique distributor out there. They are consistently hitting the mark with their 4K discs in a way that no other major studio or even boutique distributor hits that consistently. And I thought Final Countdown was the best of theirs this year. So if you're into this kind of movie, if you like these actors, if you like a, you know, a good kind of cheesy action movie, this kind of uh, takes place where it's like science fiction mixed with war and they're transported back to Pearl Harbor and all kinds of craziness going on. But if you like that type of movie, that sort of cult classic, and you want an absolutely amazing 4K disc, this is a great one to grab. Blue Underground as a whole does a great job, so I recommend checking out their entire catalog. But The Final Countdown was their best of the year and easily one of the best of 2021, so it slides in at number four. Now, coming in at number three, I actually have my first Sony home entertainment title. And you'd think that this list would be sort of full of more Sony Pictures home entertainment based on my fact that I ranked them as the best major studio for 4K releases and physical media. Um, but the fact of the matter is that all of the other studios, the Warner Brothers, Paramounts, Universals, they, they have really, really high-end releases and they do a great job, which is why some of these make the list, but then they also have some really poor releases. And I rank Sony number one because of their consistency. And I easily probably could have grabbed multiple different discs from Sony and filled this top 10 list with discs from the Columbia Classics set or like Karate Kid Part 2 could have easily fit in here. But I wanted to be a little bit fair and take a, you know, a full approach, an unbiased approach, not being a Sony fanboy. And so this, for me, was the one that deserved to make the list. And at number three, it's one of the best of the year and is a standout disc that you need to have in your collection. Unfortunately, it's not going to be that easy to get. So the disc is Taxi Driver on 4K. And you can see here I have the release from the Columbia Classics Volume 2 set. And really, as a whole, I could put the Columbia Classics Volume 2 set in this slot at number three as just a release that every 4K collector needs to have. Because all six movies in that set look awesome. And much like Volume 1, there are some classics, there are some lesser known classics, but it's a great set overall with great transfers. But for me, Taxi Driver was the standout. There was already a 4K mastered Blu-ray of Taxi Driver, but now getting this in true 4K resolution was taking the next step. HDR really improved the color grading and depth to the picture. And this is the type of thing, again, where I talk about these older movies, always you're gonna rank at the top of my list compared to something like Godzilla vs. Kong or Justice League, No Time to Die. Those are all great discs, but when you can get a beautiful 35 millimeter or 65 millimeter scan, transferred over 4K with the proper care, with the correct color grading, with good just overall presentation and you know work that went into it, which you know you're getting from a place like Sony. Unfortunately, you can only get Taxi Driver as part of that Columbia Collection, uh, Columbia Classics Collection Volume 2. I'm putting Taxi Driver here, but like I said, really that whole set could be number three here. And I'd recommend buying it because it is six solid movies. It's gonna go out of print soon if you don't get it. It would make for a great Christmas gift, even if you're buying it for yourself. But Taxi Driver, Anatomy of a Murder, Oliver, there's a lot in that set, Social Network, that, you know, look very good. Social Network's probably the least of the bunch, um, but Taxi Driver was the standout, and that's why I grabbed it for number three. The others all are definitely honorable mentions and could have made this list, but that wouldn't have been a very fun list if I just took six Columbia Classics movies. So now coming in at number two. At number two, we've got another Paramount release, and again, Paramount has been doing a great job with physical media, and I rank them very highly as a major studio. Now, this movie right here has an excellent source. It was one of the highest budgets of any movie for its time period in that shows. And I, I really felt like watching this disc, the way that they did this remastering, this new transfer, this 4K disc, I mean, it, it made the movie look like it could have been shot within the last 20 years. So that movie is The Ten Commandments. Absolutely stunning. It's a very high resolution. I cannot remember off the top of my head if it's 65 millimeter or 70. I think it was shot in 65, but it's been scanned at 70 to be shown in theaters. But either way, it's a very, very high resolution movie. And the 4K disc is as good as this has ever looked with HDR. 
it is an amazing example of older movies coming to 4K and having new life uh, breathed into them uh, for a new generation. This disc is going to blow you away. If you've only ever seen this movie on, say, TV or old DVD or VHS copies, even your Blu-ray copy, this takes the next step and it takes it to a whole nother level. Um, with 65 millimeter, you know, you could even scan that at 8K or higher. And so there probably is, this is one of the few movies where 4K doesn't really max out the beauty that this movie could have on physical media. This is the rare movie that an 8K disc could actually make sense for. And I could totally see that happening. I would love to see an 8K scan, but right now this 4K disc is the best we've got and it really is incredible. So even though it's the probably, I think it is the oldest movie on this list, um, because of its budget and the, the award-winning special effects and the cinematography and the direction behind this, I mean, it's just a beautifully shot movie, beautifully put together. If you can sit through almost four hours of a movie, Ten Commandments is a pretty good four hours to spend with a 4K disc. It's an epic, maybe the biggest epic in Hollywood history, uh, still stands the test of time, and Paramount has delivered a stunning 4K disc here, which puts it in at the number two slot. So now coming in at number one, I've been talking about this disc all year in different live streams on social media when people ask me about the best 4K disc. And I still think that this is probably the best 4K transfer that has been done to date. So not only is this the best disc of 2021, but I think it's the best disc of the 4K format so far. They're not a major studio. This is a boutique label. And I have to give them major props because they really have put out an amazing, amazing disc. And that release is Django from Arrow Video. Now, this is an old Western movie. You obviously know the name Django from Django Unchained, but this is Franco Nero. This is the definitive spaghetti Western, I would say, even more so than some of the Clint Eastwood spaghetti Westerns. Django is sort of the spaghetti Western that people think of. And Arrow Video went back and rescanned this and just did an incredible job with this scan. It is pristine. It looks like you're watching it, again, on a pristine film print, um, you know, as if you were seeing this in the editing room right after it was done. I mean, it looks that good, maybe even better than it looked in the editing room back in the day because the technology is so much better now. And this was a new 4K scan with Dolby Vision and HDR10. Now, they included uncompressed mono audio, so they kept the original audio on this uncompressed, didn't mess with it at all, kept it original, didn't add any sort of gimmicks or anything, just kept this very solid and faithful to its source, and it's just amazing. I mean, I tell people this all the time, and they always, you know, oh, it's an old Western, how good can it really look? And then people buy this disc, and I'm constantly getting messages about, wow, like I hadn't experienced 4K until I saw Django. And I know it's not going to be a movie for everyone. It's certainly not as mainstream as something like Godzilla or even like The Addams Family or Taxi Driver or some of those other classics. Like it's not that mainstream, but it is a great piece of film history. Arrow Video has put together a beautiful box set here. So if you're interested in packaging, special features, all that good stuff, there's a bonus movie on here, Texas Adios. There's commentaries. There's two discs with, you know, loaded with special features. I mean, it has everything you'd want in terms of that stuff with great packaging. But it's just simply the best 4K transfer I've ever seen. It has excellent mono audio. I like that they kept that original. They didn't mess with it. It gives the most faithful presentation of a movie uh, shot on film that I have ever seen. And it, it's still, you know, I, it, hard pressed that anybody could beat this. I, I don't know how they would. Um, there's lots of good stuff still coming. There's lots of great stuff coming next year. There's lots of great stuff that's come out in the past. And, you know, certainly some of them are very close. But I still think Django stands the test of time here. It's a 5 out of 5 disc and package all the way around. Special features, packaging, audio, visual. It's a perfect disc in my opinion. And so I really couldn't choose anything else but Django for number one. And if you're any sort of 4K collector and you want to own the best versions of the discs or you're just looking for the best experience, I continue to recommend this one. I think you should grab it. Even if you don't have a ton of interest in Westerns, I think you'll enjoy this one. It's a pretty good movie, but you'll also enjoy how great it looks and how awesome it sounds. 
So that is the list. That's the top 10. Now, like I said, I have honorable mentions out here. Um, you know, My Fair Lady was a very good disc from this year. Um, Misery from Kino Lorber, very, very good disc. The Scream Factory Halloween 4Ks, those were very solid discs. The Karate Kid movies, very, very good. The rest of the Columbia Classics set, very, very good. I mean, it was a great year for 4K. We got a ton of awesome releases, but I had to make some decisions. I had to get this list down to 10, and these are the 10 I chose. So it's really hard because of how great this year was for physical and for 4K. It was really, really hard to make this list, and I've been working on it for a couple months now kind of compiling it as new movies come in and as I you know revisit some of the stuff that's in my collection um, but I feel good about this list I feel good about the 10 that I've chosen it's a great list to start with at least if you're looking for 10 of the best movies of the year here you go these are the best 4ks that you can buy but there are many others out there so please don't take this as you know oh karate kid didn't make the list but he said that was such a good transfer it's reference quality well yeah it is it's it's right up there it's reference quality but so are these 10 discs so you know i had to cut some i had to bring in some others and had to make some decisions and uh, that's the way these lists go but certainly plenty of honorable mentions plenty of great discs out there if it didn't make the list it doesn't mean it's a bad disc it just means i had to cut it and had to make some decisions but i would love to hear what you guys think you know did i miss any are there any that i didn't see that didn't make the list are there any that you think should have made the list that i have done reviews on and i have seen that didn't make the list let me know in the comments i love hearing your guys' thoughts on on all of these even if you just want to comment on my number one pick i'm sure django won't be the most popular with everyone but i stand by it being the best 4k disc that's been made to date um, so i'd love to hear your thoughts on that as well but yeah that is it for the video that's my top 10 for the year and i'm sticking by it so hope you guys enjoyed this make sure you're subscribed and have your notifications on and like this video that way you'll know when latest videos go live and other people out on youtube will see this video because you're liking it and helping it spread the word about physical media so i appreciate that also make sure to check out all the links down in my description there's, there's ways you can support my channel through uh, shopping at grove signing up for horror pack um, even just donating to the channel plenty of ways you can support me here at the end of the year and into 2022 and also make sure to follow me on social media instagram TikTok, and twitter all the links are down in the description that's a great way to get in touch with me follow along with what's going on in my life and reach out if you have any questions or comments outside of youtube i tend to monitor those a little bit more closely and it's easier to message people back and forth there so that's a great place to find me um other than that hope you guys have a great rest of your day have a great holidays if you don't watch any videos between now and um the end of the year you know have a great holiday stay safe out there stay healthy um have a great rest of your day and i will talk to you all soon